Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games. We've been on quite a casting streak lately and I'm gonna keep it going here. So we've got ourselves another Terran versus Protoss. The map is Ascension to Ire. It's a bit of an older replay, however, when you see a match like this, you just wanna cast it just to see how it's gonna go. So it's a TVP spawning up on top left hand side of the map. It is De Muslim. Playing for Team Wind and Rain, been in the scene a very long time. Sort of on and off at times as far as playing goes, but he does put out very good games from time and time again. And now spawning down in the bottom right hand side of the map, it is my insanity's Petit Drogo, the Protoss player, uh, sort of... I mean, it's been a while now, but he's one of the top Protoss in the foreign scene, the uh, French player, playing for Team My Insanity. So uh, generally, if you went into a game like this, you'd think that Petit Drogo's favored, but we're just going to have to see how it's going to work out. can uh, go any number of ways. Here I am messing up my hotkeys, as usual there. So uh, yeah, it really should be a good match here. It's Ascension Ire, so it's pretty standard Terran versus Protoss. And uh, pretty figured out at this point. I mean, Protoss, I'd say the map's slightly Protoss favored, if I had to say. As uh, the ramps are quite defensible, so Protoss can defend quite easily. And then the main base for Terran can be quite exposed to war prisms and things like that. But then again, it is a double-edged sword, and Ter Terran, pardon me, can always get uh, drops off. So we'll just have to see how it works out. See uh, if either player is going for anything cheeky. But for now, it is just the uh, standard stuff here. Going for that uh, Nexus. Looks like uh, De Muslim going for that CC as well. Petit Drogo just wanting to confirm that that's the case. May lose this probe. Ne gonna need to be careful. He's actually sending it back in. I mean, that Reaper's gonna pop out soon. You wanna be careful there, little guy. Or maybe he's just already calling him a write-off. You know, I think... Is is that Reaper gonna be able to find that probe, or is he gonna tuck it away somewhere? Because this Reaper is gonna be hot on, his, hot on his tail relatively soon, I imagine. Does De Muslim uh, look for the probe hiding out anywhere, or is he gonna... Go for it. I mean, he's just running across the map here. This probe could be done. The SCV scouts it. Oh boy. Was Petit Drogo a little too bold there? The probe's making a slight detour. He knows he's in trouble. The Muslim running towards the main base. Petit Drogo did dodge it towards the left here. Such an exciting probe chase we have here. The probe is going to have to hide out there as long as the uh, Reaper is in front of his base, though. Reaper may actually get in and scout this target. Petit Drogo just going for a uh, stalker here. So, uh, but popping out at the last second, and the Muslim got a scout uh -huh. off, but he Something. did not see that Stargate. Pretty close there, but not quite. So, Petit Drogo, a player who does love the Stargates, really, whether they're necessarily the hot thing to do or not. So, uh, he's just going to be going for that Stargate relatively quick, too. I mean, this is just a one-gate Stargate. He's making two Stalkers as well for the defense, but he is going to want out this quick Oracle. It's been a while since we've really seen Oracles this common so, so early in TVP. The Muslim, though, he's playing quite greedy right now, going for a fast third CC, and just relying on this Marine defense. He should have enough Marines to cover one of his bases, but not both. And he'll also have to... Uh, keep this bunker secure. We'll see if uh, Petit Drogo can sort of pull the Muslim apart here right now. The Muslim is wanting to get in with this Reaper checking for a third base and knows that it's not out yet, obviously, so it's not a super macro build from Petit Drogo. So he's got to be wondering what's he up to. But I mean, uh, there's lots of different timings in StarCraft too, so there's no way he can just, just sense an Oracle's coming. And uh, coming an Oracle is... So here goes that first Oracle moving across the map. The second Oracle, Petit Drogo, actually a little bit supply block. There's small mistake. That pylon does finish up, but uh, every uh, second matters in StarCraft. So the first Oracle moving across the map here. De Muslim getting up a lot of production. It could be a bit exposed, so these barracks could be delayed. He's got enough Marines at the natural to cover that base. He's throwing up an eBay now. However, it's going to be a little too late. And uh, he has more or less stopped Marine production. So if this Oracle comes in, it's just gonna slaughter SCVs here. So far two SCVs have gone down, I mean he's just hitting that. The Muslim sort of faking that there's a Widow Mine, but there's actually no Widow Mine there. So far the Oracle up to five kills, so six workers have gone down. It's gonna be able to head towards the Naturals, and fresh mules have just been dropped. We'll see what Petit Drogo decides to kill, but the Muslim in a world of trouble, that third CC really not paying off there now, so nine workers dead to that fast Oracle. The Muslim does have Stim. He's gonna have the eBay finishing up, so he'll wanna throw up turrets immediately, because that second Oracle's on the way already, and the Muslim doesn't even have enough Marines to cover both of his bases yet. 
So that's looking a little rough right now. He does have the fast third CC. Petit Drogo's Nexus not even done yet, so he will be able to catch up and probes a little bit. He will be able to drop the mules, so he's not in a horrible spot economically, but if he hadn't taken damage from that Oracle, his situation would certainly be much, much better here. Turrets are going up in each base, but Petit Drogo does have the Oracles, and he can always find some use for them. Right now we've got a plus one on the way for Demuslim, so he is sort of going for a, uh, quite a strong army, getting up five racks, so he's just going to, before even a uh, medivac as well. Petit Drogo trying to be a bit cheeky, threw up a stasis ward. Not something you see often versus Terrans. So a Demuslim maybe just going to hit a big bio tank. Timing as there's no starport on the way, he's going to have the plus one. He does start his starport now, but he's going to have a lot of uh, bio production first, and on three CCs. He should be able to support that uh, that habit quite well. Right now we've got a, a Robotics Bay on the way for Petit Drogo. Wanting to uh, maybe go for a bit of splash here. He's going for the Blink Stalker, starting an Observer, but we'll see if he goes for a Colossus or something along those lines. Colossus, much, much better since they were patched. I mean, they're sort of irrelevant for most of Legacy of the Void, but they've uh, really come back into the fold. Right now uh, Petit Drogo tried to go for a trade there. However, the Marines actually took down one of those Oracles there. I think uh, this is the uh, post nerf, so the oracles can't quite kill as many as kill as many marines as they used to there, if I'm not mistaken. Petit Drogo looks like he's uh, moving out, ready to secure that third base. Doesn't want to fall too far behind in that regard. Petit Drogo, however, has been chrono boosting up probes nonstop. He just got up to uh, got up to 70 there, and now it looks like he's just happily macroing, going to be dumping his chrono into things like upgrades and colossus and other things. And he is going to be reaching a, a pretty scary state in this game. Three siege tanks, 20 marines for the Muslim. He does have the plus one already. Oh, that uh, observer is right on top of the army. We'll see if the Muslim sort of senses that out. Here's the little panging. If we listen quietly, we can maybe hear it. It's just ever so slight, that sound. I mean, the mules mining actually make more of a noise, it seems. But, uh... Yeah, so uh, that's a bit of an interesting thing. That observer mode, Petit Drogo throwing up pylons and stasis wards everywhere. It seems wanting to make sure that no drops catch him off guard because Protoss are confident that they can take those head-on fights. So when you're going double Robo Colossus, you're getting charged as well. It's pretty tough for Terran to take a head-on engagement. So if you're safe from drops and things like that, you're in a pretty good situation. Some Marines are moving out, but of course that observer sees everything. So these guys may be forfeit here. Maybe they can get a stalker too. Nope, they decide to run away. Two Marines going down there. Maybe this tips the Muslim off that there's an Observer over his base. For now, though, he's uh, just staying back at home. So the Muslim macroing up this game right now. We're going to have to see how this will work out. Ghosts are actually on the way for the Muslim. I did not see that he got a Ghost Academy. but uh, So he's going for a very fast Ghost Academy. No Vikings, though. And there is a ton of Colossus. going to be a ton of Zealots. I mean... Liberators maybe would be better, so uh, the Muslim maybe gonna have a bit of a tough time here if this game goes later. Yeah, he's getting up a lot of siege tanks, which can be tough to break, but really as far as pushing power goes, uh, the Muslim gonna be in a bit of a rough spot. It's always hard for hard for uh, Terrans to try and get Protoss later on in the uh, later on in the game. So Petit Drogo should be content with the way that this army composition is going. The Muslim, lots of EMP will be useful versus Archons, and if there's inevitable Psy Storm, but for now, the Vi I mean, the Colossus are going to be very, very scary here. There's an armory on the way, so the Muslim will be able to start his 2-2 eventually, although I think he may just be on one eBay here. Yeah, he's just on the one eBay. Getting the ship weapons as well, so he will be planning to start Vikings or Liberators at some point, but for now it's a while off. He scans, sees the army there, so he knows that it's this uh, Colossus Archon composition. We'll see if he starts churning out Vikings right away, however, to Muslim. His economy has taken a while to get back up, and this is why Petit Drogo's reached such a scary state, and the Muslim hasn't really been able to do anything just yet. We see this uh, one probe going to be caught out there. Trying to secure more vision, and Petit Drogo has uh, quite a scary amount of vision right now. Honestly, this game may come down to just one big fight right now. So we'll have to see how that works out. Vikings are on the way. A lot of bio is actually getting picked off there. Nicely done by Petit Drogo, focusing down the Marauder. The Muslim forced to retreat. So Petit Drogo going to have an upgrade lead soon enough as he's chrono boosting out 2-2, whereas the Muslim's just on his way to 1-1 there. Fourth 
Fourth base on the way for the Muslim, so he really seems to be content macroing, however, versus Protoss, that can be pretty rough. I mean, uh, yeah, the EMP is good, but when it does come down to Protoss, if Petit Drogo does just decide to sit back, throw up a lot of shield batteries, cannons, things like that, it will be tough for him to be broken, then he can inevitably trans transition, that's the word I'm looking for, into the air there. And uh, we'll see. So really it comes down to whether I think Petit Drogo, if he decides to go for an attack and if it fails horribly, or if he's just going to engage right now and win the game. Stalkers went forward, losing a few of them to a siege tank shot or two. SCVs are going to be intercepted there. They need to run for their life. They were looking to uh, trans transfer to that base right now. That did. Unfortunately, they fell. The Muslim, that freed up a bit of supply for him on the bright side, so he may have a, a slightly bigger army than Petit Drogo. However, now he is going to be behind on the upgrades. He'll only be down by one upgrade, and he will have the ship upgrades and a few Vikings, but not really enough Vikings to pose a ginormous threat to these Colossus. Eight versus five Colossus. You sort of need maybe, I'd say like 14 or so to handle that, particularly when there is Archons. There's no Psy Storm yet, though, so... The Muslim does have that going for him, however, there may just be a big fight right now. This is a bit of an odd engagement right now. EMPs go down on the entire army of Petit Drogo. Vikings raining down on top of these bosses. Most of them have actually gone down. Petit Drogo just taking a bit of a uh, rapid fight there, and I'm not sure how well it worked out for him. Some of the tanks did get sieged in time. The Vikings were shooting from the high ground along with the bio. So uh, Petit Drogo not really getting a good surround on that army. I mean, uh, catching your opponent by surprise is very nice. However, when it comes down to... Uh, Zealots and Stalkers, that wasn't the best fight, and now Petit Drogo is on the retreat. The Muslim moving across the map, lots of ghosts did expend most of their energy, if not all of it. I'm not even sure if there'll be enough for an EMP. There's going to be enough for maybe one or two EMPs right now. The Muslim sieging up still has some of those siege tanks ready. Colossus are on the way, however, some of the Vikings survive. Zealots and Archons are going to close the gap, try and get on top of the Muslim here. Ghosts are kiting back a large portion of the Muslim's army. Is Ghost Vikings are land to buffer. This is a very expensive for army for the Muslim. Ghosts are starting to fall. Archons and Stalkers are pretty much all that's left. However, Petit Drogo is forced to retreat. The Vikings have landed. Most of them have gone down. In fact, I believe all of them have gone down. Now there's the two Colossus, so the Muslim will be forced to retreat. And a Aggressive blink by Petit Drogo, closing the gap on top of this army. The Muslim gonna have to run with his tail in between his legs there. He's been producing ghosts and Vikings non-stop, so he's got a very high count. He may lose more, however, wants to cloak that ghost. He does save it there. These stalkers for Petit Drogo getting absurd value, though. A siege tank will push these back, however, that took a while there. We'll see if a uh, Petit Drogo is able to counterattack. The Muslim did get up his own fourth base. Petit Drogo, though, looking at his fifth while this is going on. And if we look at the upgrades right now, Petit Drogo just hit 3-3, three, three, or is about to hit 3-3 three, three here. So it's going to be 2-1 to 3-3. Three, three. That's certainly, uh, I'm not sure if the Muslim will be able to get a fight as well as that last one again. So it uh, could be looking a little rough for him as he has not invested in any more upgrades here. Maybe he's just going to be relying on the Vikings to clean up the Colossus for the EMP to weaken the army. I mean, ghosts are expensive, so I guess this is how the Muslim has been affording them all, by not investing into those upgrades there. But uh, it could be a little rough right now. Psy Storm for Petit Drogo. He's moving across the map. He's got four Colossus once again. Not too big of a gateway army here. However, uh, the Muslim's army is also not too large. The Planetary Fortress will be huge in holding this. We'll see if uh, Petit Drogo engages into that or comes in at another angle. The one siege tank is so critical. A Medivac gets picked off there. Petit Drogo retreating once again. The Muslim has eyes on the High Templar. He's scanned a few of them there, so he knows he's going to be need to have clutch EMPs. He's getting up his own fifth base, however. He's down on supply, and Petit Drogo is wanting to come in from a better angle here. High Templar gets the storm. Most of that damage will be healed, though. Petit Drogo does have more High Templar. He will be able to storm if he's making more Archons. The Muslim scanning knows that this attack is coming. He doesn't have too much of an army, though. He, I mean, he's got a good chunk of Vikings, but actually not too many Marines and Marauders. So, so much value in Ghost right now. The fight's occurring right now. EMPs go down on the army. Good concaves for the Muslim right now. A few High Templar remain. Just got EMP'd, though. Most of the Vikings have fallen, though. Some of the Colossus are quite weak as a result of this Viking damage, though. Micro back by Petit Drogo, though, keeping them alive. The Vikings have yet to really kill any of the Colossus. I believe one or two of them has gone down. And now there's just simply so many Stalkers on the ground. I believe Petit Drogo is going to take it, and he does. GG gets called. 
So if you guys enjoyed that cast, it was a bit of a shorter game, a bit of just a uh, build up, and then the uh, sort of inevitable two fights there. Petit Drogo, though, making sort of a right decision. Yeah, that first fight didn't go too well, but he ended up making the uh, second one go as the uh, game sort of just went to him from there on out. He was in a much better state as the Muslim really didn't get too much done. It was an interesting style from the Muslim. Ultimately, it didn't work out. Maybe if he had a bit of a better angle there, maybe if he had built a bit more bio instead of oh so many ghosts. I mean, ghosts are good, but not necessarily in straight up fights versus Protoss. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the cast, feel free to leave a like. Trying to break that, uh, trying to break that 1,000 subscriber mark as well. So feel free to subscribe. If you do like it though, let's try and get to five likes. I've never actually set goals for that, but I'm putting out content regularly, so we're gonna aim for that five likes. So feel free to leave a like, guys. Otherwise, I shall see you guys next time.